Instead of using a null, shape layers can create a much richer parent for layers. I've seen many in After Effects project where nulls are used as all sorts of controls, but I've always found that when it comes to parenting, shape layers usually work much better. Let me show you. The animation I have here has a few different elements animating. And for whatever reason, I don't want to put this in its own composition. So I want to parent it all to something so that I can move it as one. The first thing that people generally reach for is to create a null. And when you create a null, the anchor point's not centered, it's in the top left, but you can fix that. But it's still an eyesore of a thing that's going to sit in the middle of your design while you work. So instead, I'll get rid of that. And let's use a shape layer instead. First, select nothing by clicking on an empty area in the timeline, otherwise you'll be creating a mask instead. Then grab the pen tool and draw a shape that represents your group of layers. We don't want to see it, so let's turn its opacity down to zero. And then name the layer something self-evident. We should also make sure it's above the other layers, though it doesn't have to be. And if you want, make it a guide layer so it stands out. We then want to grab all the layers that should be part of this and parent them to that shape layer. We can adjust the anchor point a bit if it's not quite right. And then, as you can see, we have a shape layer that we can rotate and scale to move everything as if it's one group. Now because you've drawn a shape that covers the original layers and it's above them, it means you can no longer accidentally drag one layer because they're blocked by the shape layer. Remember, this is just one way to do this and it might not fit with the project you're working on. But personally, when it comes to parenting, I've always found it much nicer than working with nails.